No lies, they say that I'm on a roll Maybe I just lost control These nights keep on taking toes Find me out here on my own But I'm in the put you home You keep picking up the phone Say like it's total Yes guys, what's going on here at Muscleworks Orpington? Never been here, never trained before. And today we've got legs as it was supposed to be back day, but Aaron said very good equipment for legs. So more than happy to train legs. And we are now off prep, two weeks post prep, which means that we've got a bit more flexibility and we can switch things around. Today's video is going to be the leg session. And also at the end, I'm going to wrap up my whole experience about prep, why I decided not to go to the Natural Olympia, and the struggles behind the post prep phase as well which is not often talked about and it is actually a more challenging experience and very hard to manage harder than i thought it would be uh, so i just want to be as transparent with you guys as possible but let's get the let's get some pre-workout in um, i've seen they've got quite a few good pre-workouts and you know me i'm a sucker for some pre-workouts so we'll get something going and smash this leg session so let's get it done what one's your favorite then I, well, my Oh right, okay. They've got the new flavours now, don't they? The squashies yeah. and like the refreshers, yeah. A B is like quite itchy. It is quite itchy. Yeah, it is. Christopher's secret stuff. I think this might have to be a go. Champion mentality. Shout out Christopher Bumstead five times, Mr. O. <laughs> um, yeah, because Christopher's probably watching the video right now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I'll go for this. Yeah, I'll go for that. Do you know what flavour it is? Because it's the secret stuff, isn't it? So, yeah. It's time to try Christopher's secret stuff. Tastes nice, but I can't pinpoint what flavor it is. Some kind of like tropical, maybe mango. Yeah, it's nice, it's nice. Right, anyway, today's session is legs. So we got standing calf raise, adductor machine, seated hamstring curl, hack squat, pivot press, leg extensions, and dumbbell split squat. I have put it in the logbook. Obviously, this is not the usual gym that I train at, but if I ever come back, then we can kind of reflect back to see which numbers and what we were lifting previously, and just kind of a more of a mental thing for me. And I just want to track the workout moving forward into this uh, off season, essentially. So yeah, this session should be good. I'm looking forward to, to using some of this equipment. They got some prime stuff. They got the Cybex hack squat. We just went upstairs to check it out and it looks really, really good. They got a whole designated leg room here, so it would be nice to, to do that. So let's drink the rest of this pre-workout, warm up, and get the session started. It's time. Intra workout drink, 20 gram, 25 gram? No, 20 gram of HBCD, 20 grams EAAs, five gram glutamine, five gram creatine, and two gram of pink salt is the go-to right now. Tell me I'm all right, take me through your mind. Say I'm trying to fuck, I think that you're right. I still feel it then, when I look you in your eyes. They say that I'm on the road, maybe I just lost control. Shout out to Josh as well for uh, making me this Juggers Metal playlist on Spotify <laughs> as well. Uh, this is like the hardcore stuff. Josh likes his like screaming and rock and stuff. So perfect for a leg day, just get stuck in and just screaming in your ear, mate. <laughs>
that feels really good. Their people is is fantastic like I, I couldn't thank them enough to be honest with the whole trip to Romania and everything it was so smooth they were so friendly Lee, Lee the owner he's just great in every single way and he's just like so supportive of the whole journey and yeah it was a really good season but my, my season ended two weeks ago man oh, yeah, so, so you're, you're happy you're eating now and stuff. Uh, you know what it's like you, you've prepped before right Ooh. so this is my first prep so it's a really challenging oh, part for me good. like it's really challenging in the aspect of I've never done the post prep phase and you right. feel like you kind of get that bit of like feeling a bit be, lost. You have to be careful. As yeah, well. yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to blow up. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's where you have to kind of find a balance. You yeah, know? exactly. Um, you don't want to blow up, but obviously you want to enjoy put on, yourself. Yeah, well. put on. and put on a little bit of fat exactly. so that you get a bit healthier again. Exactly. I've been finding that hard because yeah. I love food uh, yeah. and it's quite clear to me now that I love food that yeah. much. Yeah. But I was on prep for 32 weeks, so a it's a time. long time to prep time. and didn't miss a beat. Not a single time did I ever eat off plan or miss a gram, do you know what I mean? So now I'm like, it's that, it's that funny period where you're just like post-show, you want to train hard, but you have to be careful. You want to eat whatever you want, but you kind of can't. You need to have that balance, so.
Legs are so pumped right now. It feels good to, to get a proper good leg pump. The one thing that we're certainly not doing this off season is neglecting ab work. So I will be doing abs either on rest days or a few times a week. So three times per week, literally just two exercises, three sets, and that is it. But it is important to do the work when it needs to be done and not when you're like a few weeks out and it's like, I want to see my abs. So yeah, ab work is, is here and it's here to stay. I just think I'm free. You can tell I'm having a bit more food now. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't ever ask your girlfriend if she's ever thought about dyeing her hair. <laughs> the real reason we're actually doing abs is because we've consumed so many brownies and cookies over the last two weeks. I'm trying to shred off this fat. <laughs> yeah. Right, so legs wrapped up here at Muscle Works Orpington. Really good equipment, really good gym, and a good session. I wouldn't say like the best overall, and as obviously we're still two weeks post prep, so things are feeling heavy, things aren't feeling 100%, and we don't want to push too hard, although I kind of struggle with that as training hard is what I love. The plan now is to have the post workout meal and then we're going to head off and find a nice quiet spot. It's a little bit loud in here, a lot of music playing. So yeah, just talk about uh, my whole experience with prep, why I'm not going to the Natural Olympia and all of that good stuff as well. And then maybe we'll go for a cheeky Nando's with Aaron because it feels pretty good to say that I, I can do that now. You know, 32 weeks prepping, not missing a beat. It was hard, but we've got a little bit more flexibility, which is really nice. Um, but we have to be a bit, bit more careful, a bit careful around these times. There's obviously it's a sensitive time post prep and I'll talk on that a little bit more later. But yeah, let's go grab the cream of rice. It's already made up, have that, and then we'll shoot off. Yeah, I'll be honest, it doesn't look the most aesthetically pleasing um, and not my best production of cream of rice. It's just because I've had it in the, uh, in the car on the travels, but we got 150 gram of cream of rice, uh, 40 gram of whey, 100 gram of berries, 100 gram of raspberries, and uh, one gram of pink salt, no fats. And yeah, just going to enjoy this but it's not looking too good but anyway i love my cream of rice i love my food so let's munch this down and then probably get a nando's soon all ah, right guys just in a random starbucks here at the retail park wrapping up what has been a very very great and eventful 2023 natural bodybuilding competitive season we started prep on the 14th of march looking like this to the 22nd of October, looking like this. And it has been one hell of a transformation. It has been one hell of a journey, 32 weeks being on prep. It hasn't been easy. There's been ups and downs. There's been many challenges, but there's been also a lot of growth in that time frame. We did a total of five shows across uh, them 32 weeks. 
So towards the after 20, I think after 24 weeks of prep, we did the first show, and then there was pretty much shows every two to three weeks leading on from then. We changed coach in the time frame as well, which you guys saw in a previous video, which was quite crazy, but it definitely paid off in my opinion. Um, we made some good decisions and we got very, very shredded towards the end. So the first show that we did was the BMBF Midlands, got second place in that. Then we did the UK DFBA qualifier, Midlands also, which we got first place in the junior category. Then we did the BMBF finals, which was uh, no top five. Then we did the UK DFBA finals, which was a second placement. And then we got the opportunity to fly to Romania to do the natural universe with the UK DFBA. And that was honestly the best experience of this year for me. Went with Tim, Jack and Jack. So Jack men's physique and also Jack, the other Jack. So we could call him KC Bum and Mr. Natasley. Uh, they Natasley did the men's physique and KC Bum did the classic, which they both won their classes, won the overalls and turned pro, which was so great to see. Uh, we really bonded together as uh, friends and you know that to me was really important. So shout out to the guys, very grateful for you, hashtag grateful. And then for me, uh, I competed in the junior class, which was the original competition that I was supposed to be doing, which we got second place in. Uh, sorry, two days before, before, on the day of registration, they said, do I want to compete in another category? And I didn't think that I was able to. And they said, you can do novice. So I said, okay, well, we get the opportunity to, to be in Romania once and we may as well go, go for it. And I remember coming off stage as a, as a junior, getting second place, being happy. It was a class of seven. I was happy, of course, to, to get top three, but you always get that slight bitterness of, I wish it was first because at the end of the day, everybody competes to win. And I come off stage and the novice class is straight on, which was a class of 12 guys. I'm At this point, I'm blowing, I'm out of air and I have to go straight back on stage. Honestly, I had probably about 20 seconds, just took a sip of water and then we're back posing again. I'm fatigued from just doing all the rounds in the junior category. And we ended up winning the novice class and getting the IMBA uh, novice champ title, which was insane. Then we moved on to the overalls, which was again another crazy experience to be against some of the best, best athletes. And we got first call outs, I think. Uh, yeah, the scorecards came out after that and we got sixth place out of 10 or 11 athletes in the overalls, which was mind blowing. So Romania was definitely the highlight of the whole of prep for me. And it was the best experience with good people. We had a laugh and the whole weekend was just amazing. And UKDFBA as a federation for me personally, they couldn't have done more. A really, really great federation and I'll be competing with them in the future. And obviously on the topic of comp competing in the future, what will I be doing? And for me right now, uh, natural bodybuilding is where my heart is in terms of I don't want to go assisted. I know that there's a lot of stigma around after shows. What, what are your plans? I really enjoy bodybuilding, but I have other parts of my life that I also enjoy traveling and doing things. So staying natural for me, where I'm not 110% invested in bodybuilding, um, it, it's more of a, it's a better res, uh, decision, more relevant to me. So 2026, maybe we come back and compete in the heavyweight category. So we've got a lot of growing to do. And this is the reason why I didn't go to the Natural Olympia, as I feel that this season has already been really good for me. And taking a step back on such a high note where we play second and then first in Romania at the Natural Universe, that for me was enough, you know. Going to the Natural Olympia would have, it's the most premium natural bodybuilding stage that you could possibly go on. But I feel like there's a lot of growth that I need, that needs to take place for me to be competitive at that level. And maybe I'm wrong, maybe we could have done really, really well, you know, as, as we did come first in the novice category, but I was done at this point, in all honesty, mentally and physically, it was really hard towards the back end of prep, getting into that kind of level of condition, which I feel I did achieve pretty much my maximum potential in terms of condition without um, having a detrimental impact to, to body parts. You know, because I'm six foot three, um, it makes it very hard for you to retain muscle um, everywhere and not lose, not lose body parts. And I didn't want to do that. So it was a good decision for me. I'm really happy with that. Um, Natalie and Casey Bomb, if you're watching this, good luck this weekend at the Natural Olympia because you guys deserve to be there. 
and I know that you're going to bring it home uh, because you guys are both undeniable. So shout out to these boys. But yeah, that's, uh, that's my wrap up in terms of this season. It's been a very good season. I've loved it. I've loved sharing the journey with, with you guys on YouTube for, throughout for what you have seen. Unfortunately, we couldn't capture all of the shows because, you know, Aaron maybe hasn't been around or um, there's been other things going on. And yeah, now let's talk about post-show struggle, which has hit me a lot, to be honest with you. And I didn't think that it would because being so disciplined for 32 weeks, I thought for me, the food part wouldn't, wouldn't be a problem. But honestly, from the moment I go back from Romania, I couldn't stop eating. And that sounds bad and, you know, it, it, it's not a professional approach. And I wish I could say to you, I absolutely nailed the post prep phase. But in all honesty, Tim sent me my plan in terms of like what we're going to be doing going into the off season slash recovery phase for the next couple of weeks. And I'd be on plan and then it'd get to the evening and I'd just start nailing food, eating more than I should be. And, you know, beating myself up about it and feeling this kind of sense of guilt, which is hard because you know, you've been prepping for so long and you've had this goal in mind and now the goal is, is the short term goal is gone. You, you don't have a, the next show, you don't have to look good in a couple of weeks because there's, there's no pressure. So it's like you kind of let yourself go. And you know, I'd, I'd be lying if I said I've let myself go. I've been training really hard. I've been you know, fulfilling everything that I need to uh, in terms of cardio, in terms of steps and, and all of that good stuff. But I think I've needed this to realize and learn and understand myself a bit more about how I love bodybuilding, but it is very taxing um, to, to a degree. So for me to have this uh, period post show of just like not feeling like a bodybuilder, not being so regimented has been necessary. Has been necessary. So yeah, there's no regrets, but it has been a struggle mentally. Um, you know, days just beating myself up and feeling feeling sorry for myself, which I, which I shouldn't be because everybody deals with these things differently. I just want to be completely transparent with you guys and, you know, not hide the fact that, oh yeah, I absolutely nailed it. Everything was spot on because it wasn't. But again, that's the learning curve and I'm happy to, to learn. And that's why I started this journey. I started the prep to challenge myself and the whole process has been a challenge. Uh, so yeah, guys, listen, I'm gonna wrap it up there um, as I don't wanna just waffle and waffle on. But the whole prep has been one of the hardest but best experiences of my life. And, you know, I came from traveling to then going on to prep. Now I feel like I need to enjoy my life a bit more, release content that's enjoyable for me, still train really hard, still do um, these cool things. Uh, and I appreciate everybody following along the journey. So if you guys like what you're seeing, Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Plenty more content coming. Drop a comment down below what you want to see, what kind of videos, give me ideas, what you enjoy. There will obviously be always be training involved. Training is a heavy part of my life. Uh, I love fitness. I've been doing this for like five years now and just continue to grow. So thanks guys for watching and see you at the next one.